The 20 universities, uh, a number of them being international ones, all bring a kind of specific point of view. And to me that's where it really gets interesting because what you see on the mall then isn't actually as simple as just that 800 square foot solar house, but it brings in lots of other discussions. People will talk about local food, about organics, about you know clean indoor environments, no you know, a VOCs, healthy build, yeah, sick building syndrome. So those sort of things are really, the competition becomes a kind of vehicle which we can talk about much larger and broader issues as well. Essentially where we are now is uh, all the rough framing is just about ra uh, wrapped up. Uh, you know, working on some last little details inside and then we have to finish the sheeting just around the base. Um, I would say in terms of schedule, we're about where we thought we would be. Uh, kind of the next, uh, next crucial things are getting things like windows, siding, roofing, uh, those types of things uh, ordered so we can get the building dried in. Um, and then uh, start to work on the interior. You know, what we've put on paper actually coming to life. Uh, certainly it's exciting, uh, you know, uh, watching the walls go up, um, you know, get sort of a roof structure in there, but at that point it's still just a skeleton. For me, uh, I'm really starting to get a sense of this uh, space now that the sheathing is on. Um, and then I would say just in terms of personal satisfaction, it's, it's just kind of inherently satisfying to see something that you've worked so hard on paper sort of come into, uh, come into reality. So, you know, at the end of each day, you've got something tangible and say, okay, you know, this is what we accomplished today and, and sort of look forward to the next day. Uh, what we're working on right now is the house rack. And uh, as you can sort of see it behind me here, and basically what that does is uh, it's here, one of your uh, protection uh, against uh, water in the wall, but it's still a breathable membrane uh, such that any water vapor that is trapped uh, can still escape. And uh, it's pretty simple to install. It's almost like wrapping a present, only it's uh, as large as a house. Uh, we use these uh, small uh, button cap nails uh, to nail it up, and then uh, we'll eventually go back with their uh, special seam tape and put a little piece of uh, tape over each nail and over each seam to ensure that we've got um, a watertight system. And then uh, the next step after this will be uh, installing wood furring um, and uh, also then a half inch uh, layer of rigid insulation around the entire outside. And what that'll do is that'll eliminate uh, thermal bridging through the studs, uh, which is a main uh, cause of energy loss in uh, traditional homes. Uh, so the last few days we've been hard at work installing the windows for the house. Um, in terms of installation, they're uh, really not that much different uh, than your, your typical house window. Uh, so construction techniques are the same. Uh, but these units here, they're uh, Pella triple glazed units. They've got a low E coating, which stands for low emissivity, and they're also filled with argon gas. And what that does is that uh, triple glazing uh, with the gas and the low E coating, it significantly reduces uh, unwanted heat gain during the summer, especially here on this west face. Uh, and then also, too, uh, has just a uh, much lower U value, which uh, the inverse of that then is a much higher R value, so they're a lot more energy efficient. Um, they've been really actually pretty easy to install. Uh, some of these end units actually came ganged together uh, in groups of six, so they were other than being a little bit heavy, uh, the installation went really quick because uh, we could install them all as one unit. Uh, so we're just wrapping up the uh, doors, putting our final shims in, and uh, sealing around uh, each window with expanding foam. Uh, to make sure that we don't have any air leakage. Um, and uh, once we're done with that, the windows will be complete. We'll also need a uh, piece of two by there this time. Back to you, Steve. Back to you. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Lean in a little at the top. Yeah, good. B screw.
level on there. Siding that came out, um, as you can see down here, the condition that it was in, you know, it's weathered and worn on all edges. So what we've had to do is go back and, uh, with a special tool, get a straight edge that we can use to run through the table saw, which allowed us to get even increments where it's smooth on this side and on this side. We still keep the face weathered, which allowed us to put it on the side of the house even strips. We have three inch, four inch, and five inch, which helps give a kind of patchwork look. Um, and then once it's the field is up, it actually looks really sharp. Deploying the barn siding um, allowed us to relate back to the kind of agricultural heritage of Ohio. And the, the weathered um, skin of it really kind of speaks to that. Obviously the material itself is coming from a barn that once existed um, and we're also deploying it in a way that um, it's kind of referencing the way the barns were made um, in a modern sort of way or minimal sort of way um, where you know the slats um, still find themselves kind of in that or that's similar orientation that you might find in a barn um, but also the way in which um, barns are constructed um, we're kind of flattening that detail where you would uh, normally have you know your slat condition and then you might have a kind of a third piece that finds itself overlapping the joints um, and in some cases um, like the tobacco barns they'll find uh, operable portions where the the slats open up and allow for the kind of air to move through as the tobacco cures. Um, we're sort of reducing it and the way that we deploy the barn material um, as the rain screen allows us to kind of keep it away from the house and separate it so that third element is not required but it still allows the air to kind of move through and uh, allows the wood to dry naturally as it gets wet and allows air to pass through as it, um, as it needs to.